Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about SJWs interfering with game development. Specifically what we're talking about today is we're actually talking about um, a game that I'm really looking forward to, which is Pillars of Eternity 2. Uh, Pillars of Eternity was a great game. I'm a huge fan of that style of RPG and other things like that. It's something I actually really would love to stream for you guys at one point if possible. Uh, however, Pillars of Eternity 2 specifically, I would definitely love to stream at one point. Uh, now, the idea that I'm bringing up on here is that in Pillars of Eternity 2, there was a writer uh, that apparently at one point, I believe back when the whole Gamergate thing was a big deal, uh, wrote a couple of mm, kind of, un not questionable, but kind of SJW butthurt comments and not so much in the sense that he's an SJW, but saying things that would butthurt an SJW. I saw a, an article on it. I saw it on a couple of other videos as well, and I figured I would go ahead and make my own statement on it and just, you know, kind of give you guys a little rundown of the of the actual article and everything else along those lines. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, here's the actual article. Uh, as you can see, it is done by the Daily Caller. Uh, the game writer resigns after social justice warriors crucify him for conservative opinions. So outright in general, we're already basically just crucifying somebody on the fact that, you know, he has conservative opinions. Now, I, I'm not entirely positive exactly how uh, accurate that statement is. Uh, as we go along, well, I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. And this seems like it's a little, it, it's the same problem that a lot of other articles have. This has kind of that feel of you're expressing a little bit more than what really happened. Like you're trying to make it sound like it's a much bigger deal than it really is kind of thing. But that's one of my problems with most articles is that they always try to do something like that anyway. So it's whatever. So let's go ahead and get into it. A game developer and writer for an upcoming video game was forced to resign Tuesday from his job after feminist and social justice activists on Reddit uncovered politically incorrect statements he had once posted on a gaming forum. Now, the first thing I want to say with that is that it looks a little weird because of the fact that it's saying that he once posted. So what I'm getting from that is that it's a history thing. Like, this is done a lot while back. Now, this goes back to what I was saying originally by this fact that these, these apparently were posts that happened back when Gamergate was a big thing. So I'm guessing 2015, 14 maybe. I, I can't really remember because I don't... I didn't actually keep up with Gamergate. I was totally uninterested in politics at that particular point in time. So... I'm not really 100% sure. But regardless, we're actually going on the idea that this guy needs to be crucified for his opinions way back in the day. We don't even know what his opinions are now. You know, years have changed. Who knows what's changed? I mean, I myself, back in the day, back in the same thing, I didn't care about politics. I had a fairly leftist view and probably was a bit of a liberal, crazy liberal, just like everybody else is now because I didn't pay attention to politics. And now that I do, my opinions are completely different. So I don't know where his where his opinions actually lie at this point. But it sounds to me like he's being crucified, or he's quote-unquote being crucified, by the fact that he said something... You, you get my drift? It, it seems just a little far-fetched. It just seems... Well, not far-fetched. It seems a little... seems a little like it's a, it's a witch hunt. It feels a little witch hunty, you know what I mean? Casey Hollingshead, a writer contracted to produce content for the upcoming role-playing game Pillars of Eternity 2, was outed by members of the social justice community, Gamer Ghazi, on Reddit, who managed to track down his posts, Witch Hunt, to form a, a to a forum called RPG Codex. They cataloged his posts, much of which they considered offensive in content. Which, you know, as they always say, offense is taken, not given. So, you know, they he said something and they were like, oh, I don't agree with that. It's offensive. Fuck you. Posting under the name Sir, I'm going to go with Sir, Hollings had remarked that feminist game critic Anita Sarkeesian was a huckster and accused her of feigning interest in video games to push her progressive ideology. He also called Zoe Quinn, the game developer whose undisclosed relationships with game journalists served as the catalyst for Gamergate, a sociopath. So in other words, he called Zoe Quinn a sociopath, which from what I get from 
to be honest with you, both Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn are both sociopaths, but that's neither here nor there. The, the I, I don't disagree with his overall assessment. I mean, uh, I think most people nowadays who actually look at Anita Sarkeesian and look at the stuff that she does can see that she is a fake. She's She's feigning interest in games to push her agenda. She has no real interest in video games. She's even said it herself. Holling's head was highly critical of social justice warriors in the video game industry, lambasting their efforts to shoehorn progressive storylines and characters into gaming. Basic fact is that some people can't handle women in video games. This is a quote um, from Holling's head. Literally speaking, he wrote in one post, they can't handle them being shot, they can't handle them being roughed up, can't handle them being sexual, can't handle them being liberal, can't handle them being conservative, and can't handle them being criticized. And I completely agree with that statement because that's effectively the feminist agenda as a whole, as pretty much like Anita Sarkeesian's agenda as a whole, Zoe Quinn's agenda as a whole. That's all the like alt left's agenda in total, like when it comes to video gaming. And that's one thing that I can't stand when it comes to all of this. The fact is, is that instead of letting women be faulty, just like a man, strong, just like a man, taken advantage of just like a man not taken advantage of you just you know busted up you know hurt taken you know just just taking it like every man and then at the same time be just as strong just as as courageous and just as brave and everything else like that as a man can be instead of just letting that happen in a game all these alt lefters and all these anti you know all these feminists and everything like that they just they just decide that what they would rather do is criticize that there's a woman pretty much in a game at all. They can't be sexual. They can't be anything. Can't be anything other than a man. Like, they have to literally be a man. The fact is I agree with that statement wholeheartedly because it's it's the truth. It's exactly what, what you see when it comes to these games. Criticizing the concept of objectification, Hollings had described the so-called critique of female characters in video games as a double helix of hypocritical bullshit that you never see applied to male characters. And that's exactly what I was just referring to. The fact is, is that you never see this with males. Males are just thrown under the bus. Males can be hurt. They can be, you know, killed. They can be shot up, sexualized. They can be whatever you want. They're basically glorified slaves um in, in the concept of this of these types of games Th they can be whatever you want to them you can do literally whatever you want to them and you know what happens when you do that nothing nobody complains nobody cares you know why nobody cares because that's the stereotype that's the that's the that's the sit-in but no no whenever they do the same thing for a woman it's, it's uproar and and harassment it's 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 sexism towards fem females it's the worst thing you could possibly do their auditor also stated that while most muslims are unlikely to be terrorists a terrorist attack committed in europe would likely be committed by a muslim extremist his statement was while seemingly offensive on the surface is backed up by data my guess would be is that that statement is probably where he actually got himself in trouble the most if he had just said what he said about the gamergate stuff and that be it I don't think any of this would have been necessarily as big of a problem. The reason why it became a problem is because he decided to say that as well. Now, I don't disagree with his statement. I don't think his statement is wrong. I just think that particular statement, especially in this day and age as well, again, this was witch hunted, mind you. You know, this was obviously dug up and hunted down to actually try and scratch his name out for, for whatever reason. I guess maybe someone decided they felt he was not right for the team or something like that. But the point is, is that the reason why this ever came up in the first place, the only reason why I think any of this happened is because of the fact that he brought up Islam extremism. Now, moving on to the last little bits here, it just basically goes on to say that social justice activists on Gamer Ghazi 
offended by his opinions, even took issue with a joke that he made about a bad video game. I'm not going to read that whole joke. Uh, after being outed, he turned in his registra re resignation uh, to his employer, Obsidian Entertainment, and apologized for his comments critical of Islam, which is another sign, in my opinion, that makes me think that he was mostly... My guess is that he probably wasn't wanting to quit. My guess is that the company itself pressured him to quit. And they told him that if you don't apologize to us for that, then we're going to give you, like, you're never going to work anywhere ever again kind of thing. You know what I mean? Something stupid like that. Uh, Gamer Ghazi members who called on Obsidian to fire Hollingson expressed joy at him losing his job because, of course, you know, making somebody lose their livelihood is always a great idea. Is always great. I guess that good can sometimes win after all, even in real life and in Game of Thrones, wrote one user, which is just... <sighs> so, what does all of this mean? What does all of this basically say about... Pillars of Eternity, Obsidian, SJWs interfering. It just goes to show you more idiocy, just like everything else. I mean, I'm going to say it probably in every video I do when it comes to something like this. It's just pure idiocy. Because the left, the alt left on this side, they, they're just like, they just need to get their... They were so offended. They were so offended that they had to ruin someone's livelihood destroy their livelihood by removing them from their employment because they said something they didn't agree with even if it's accurate it doesn't matter if it's accurate or not it doesn't matter if it's if it's true it doesn't matter if it's it just offended me so it feels like nobody's in control like, and I don't mean that, that we need somebody in control. I don't feel like necessarily it's always necessary that there needs to be someone in control. But it feels like there needs to be some kind of organized agreement by society. And I feel like we've completely just thrown out all, all etiquette, thrown out all politeness, thrown out everything. We've just completely tossed it all to the side because screw the world. And everybody just thinks that the only answer to everything is to just basically bring a stick and shield and beat the shit out of somebody. And that's the answer to everybody, to, to, to all the questions, to all, all the problems to be fixed with a fist. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I certainly hope you guys liked it. If you did, you guys know the drill by now. Go on and hit that like button if you liked it. If you really liked it, go on and hit that share button. And if you loved it and you haven't already, please go on and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. Don't forget to have fun.